So in this video, I wanna talk about Slime Season 3. Now that Season 4 has been officially confirmed along with the movie, the second movie, that will be coming out at some point later on, I wanted to talk about Season 3 as a whole, because as I said in my last video that I spoke about Slime, that I felt like Slime, for me personally, was more enjoyable when I can binge watch it. Because of the fact that we had the early stages where there was a lot of recapping, and a lot of talking and exposition dumping, as, as we like to call it, the table talking. And then you had some parts where they kind of had those weeks delays. It just felt like it was easier for me to just binge watch it all in one go. And I think one of the big issues that I have with Slime is the community itself, not so much the anime. Because as someone that has read the light novels ahead of the source, like ahead of the anime, I haven't been fully up to date on the light novels, but I have read ahead of what the anime is up to, I feel like it's just one of those where I get a lot of hate for just being slightly critical of the most weakest takes. And I feel like the Slime community does not handle criticism well at all in any shape or capacity. But I also feel like the Slime community has built an echo chamber. And there are a lot of content creators that honestly, at this point, I do not believe anything they say anymore because of the level of hypocrisy that has come from some of them are making videos like, oh, Spice and Wolf having economics really surprised me because, oh, economics doesn't normally do well in animes. And then they proceed to sit there and go on about how slime is so amazing because of economic factors. And it's like, it's just the whiplash of, when, when you put it into full context of what they're saying, it's like, they, they talk about as like, economics doesn't get put in an anime at all when they're talking about Spice and Wolf, but when they're talking about Slime, it's like, oh, it's suddenly, it's just the level of cherry picking that I see in Anitubers in how, and this is something that I've always said a lot of Anitubers do, is they build the video around the title, not the title around the video. I've mentioned it many times, it's a broken record at this point, but I just feel like a lot of content creators aren't genuine in their opinions anymore, and a lot of them are just saying what gets the clicks, but also what feeds into the echo chamber. And the Sly community, and I still remember from seasons 1 and 2, the amount of toxicity, even other Anitubers that came out and said, hey, the Sly community is getting too out of control, and most of them created headcanons. I still remember in season 2, someone was sending me a paragraph like, like, well, I wouldn't even say it was a paragraph, it was like 10 paragraphs of like full on exposition of why slime was bad and why they should have done this and then and it's like, you know, they're going through my videos and they're like, oh you're wrong on this, this is how power scaling works and this is how the demon lord upgrades it and I'm like, I was like, where are you getting this information from? Because all of it was just rubbish. It was just like headcanon kind of stuff. And so I'm always puzzled by some parts of the slime community. And I don't think that's the whole community to be very clear. But it's just a weird community where there's some that have got like head cannons and then some that are like really like zealotry in their defense. And as someone that enjoys slime a lot, I love slime, it still doesn't mean that I cannot be critical. And I think that's the problem in the anime community as a whole. They can't handle criticism anymore in a fair and manner. It's it's either you've got to hate everything about something or love every, everything about something. And I know I haven't even gotten into what I think about season three, but that's the thing about it, is the last time I spoke about slime, I had to bait people because they just got so toxic because they were just like, oh, you dare say one minor small thing you didn't like about it? Oh, you're the worst person on the planet. They post me on Reddit and start complaining to the points the moderators started removing videos about me. It's like, yeah, congratulations. You, you proved my point. You can't handle criticism. Now, where does that criticism come from? I don't like excessive recapping. I've said it a million times. I'll say it again. I don't like excessive recapping. And some people go, oh, well, you, you should have watched One Piece back in the old day. Yeah, I did, and I hated it. Just because others do it doesn't mean I should like it in something else as well. It's like, it's like the Genshin Impact drama way back when people were like, oh, the, the monetization in that is predatory. And they're like, oh, but Fates does it as well, and it's worse, so it should be like, it's like, be quiet. Two wrongs don't make a right. And that was the thing I, I, that was the only real issue that I had with Slime was in the early stages of the story, the excessive recapping and the table talking, and how it felt like just a visual novel. Because, as I noted in that, my imagination when reading the light novel was much more better than what the anime could show. Because the anime didn't do much showing, it it just kind of had like a blank background, and it just had mouths moving, and a little bit of show and tell here and there. But that was the bulk of it. 
And it was just kind of disappointing because it reminded me of season two with the, the table talking in the garden. The same thing. And a lot of that was also recapping. I don't like excessive recapping. And I also don't like when they need to explain what they're doing and what they're planning to do. And then literally the next episode is them doing it. It's like you could just skip that. I get, you know, there's a lot of politics building. And that I don't have a problem with. I do not have a problem with politics and building the world and establishing and all that kind of stuff. Because might I add, in the later parts of the episode, they do still do that. But you notice how, in my opinion, in the early stages, it felt like a bland visual novel. But later on, when they were still doing the world building, the politics and all this powerful thing against this powerful thing, in the later episodes, it felt very different how they presented it. The presentation is the issue, not the contents itself. And that was the problem that I had with Slime. The presentation felt, in the early couple of episodes, felt weird. And maybe it was due to budgeting reasons. Maybe they cut a couple of corners and had to, like, kind of squeeze it. I don't know. I really don't know. It, it just felt a little bit janky. But then once the episode started getting into the next arc, which was funny because... Er oh, I wouldn't say ever. I exaggerate a little bit there. But there were some in the slime community that were really gassing up the fight scene. Which, I knew that fight scene was coming because I've read the light novels, but some people were like, oh, this fight scene's going to be so epic, it's going to be massive, and then it was over in a couple of episodes, and I'm like, yeah, this is why you guys really shouldn't gas things up so heavily, and then went back to a couple of episodes, or a little bit of table talking, and then people were just complaining, and it's like, that's when people started actually coming to my side of the argument and being like, you know what, maybe he's right. Which is funny because I got a lot of hate in the early stages of that discussion. And then as soon as that fight was over and they went back to a little bit of table talking, people were like, yeah, you know what, that is kind of stupid. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I, I, may, maybe I'm just ahead of my time. I'm too ahead. But after that, everything's amazing. So much fun. There's world building, there's characters, you're building the Colosseum, you're building the dungeon, all these characters and fun interactions and politics and economics. I love economics, might I add. It's one of my favorite things that I love in an anime when it's presented right. And it was done beautifully in the second half of season three. Second half of season three was brilliant. I loved it. And even the opening song was just mm, mwah, bon appetit. That's what I really liked about it. But the early stages were just weird. It felt very weird. And if I went back and rewatched season three, I'd pretty much just skip like the first six episodes and just go right into like the battle scene. Because it just, I don't know. I mean, you could watch the first episode where Diablo is doing some fun stuff. That episode was pretty fun. But then it's like those couple of episodes afterwards were just a little bit weird. And that's the problem that I was pointing out is that the Sly community can't handle any criticism. And it's not all, again. I'm more being very specific at that little corner that just doesn't handle criticism very well. But if you take that problem away, everything else is just brilliant. I absolutely loved every aspect of it. Which is also funny because when I watched the movie before season 3 came out, I loved the movie. And yet so many people in my comments were like, oh the movie's trash, it's too silly, blah blah blah. And I'm like, but that's what I like about Slime. The silly nature, the fun, the economics, the back and forth, Rimuru constantly having to re-explain that he's friends with the most powerful individuals on the bloody face of the goddamn planet. And it's just like, yeah, he's friends with Veldra, he's friends with Diablo, he's friends with Nilum. It's like, just those interactions are so much fun. I also do really love the fact that season 3 had little references to the movie as well. I think that was very well clever, and it kind of shows that in the anime the movie is canon, which I think is well done, and I'm very curious to see what they do going further on with the movies, if it's all going to be like non-part of the light novels and it's going to add more to the world. I hope they do. I really do, because I like the fact that they're fleshing out the world even more and more and more, especially when you had like the OVAs. Like, you had those five OVAs, I think it was, and three of them were about Diablo. I love that, because it's canon, but at the same time, it had no bearing on the overarching story other than just a little bit of flavor for Diablo. That's the kind of stuff I like seeing in Slime. It adds a bit more to the, it just adds more layers. And I think that's the kind of movies and OVAs that I like to see in an anime series is when it adds more to the world rather than just being silly fan service, which it did have a fan service one in there. And it's not, that's not bad in itself, but it's nice when they do add the other stuff. So I'm very excited to see what the movie entails and I'll definitely give it a watch because I myself love slime. I just had that one little criticism 
that riled the community up, which is funny because a lot ended up coming over to my side on it. It's, like I said, when you're watching something that's like a still shot background and they're explaining things, it's just one of those where I'm like, when I read it in the light novel, I was able to imagine things a lot more vividly. And so I was like, eh, it just feels like I'm watching a visual novel at that point. So overall, I think once you take that out, everything else was just amazing and super fun. And I love the way they did the exposition dumping for the dungeon system and explaining how the layers went and the sort of the event that led up to it all that's so much fun i remember reading it and it just it's a joy it's a joy and even though you get a little bit frustrated at the guy because of his powers and everyone like oh he's so amazing but rimaru being like yeah i know i know what's going on here it's just good it's a really good sort of ending to it all but i do feel like we're in for a bit of a ride because don't listen to the slime community when they gas things up. Just go in it blind and just enjoy it for what it is. Because if you listen to the slime community gas things up, you're just going to get your hopes up on things that may not turn it exactly like how they claim. I mean, remember the end of Season 2. So many people gassed that up and that fight was over kind of pretty quickly too. So, I mean, even though I love the Hadouken part for Veldera. But that Season 2 stuff. I, I'm, I'm just curious to see what the movie is more than anything. Because... The fact that I know what season four is going to be like, I'm like, yeah, I know, I know what I'm expecting. And I'm not going to get my hopes up on some weird fight scene that is, is going to be overblown in my head. And that's the thing, by the way. That's what I'm getting at. Is that you notice how they're gassing it up. Because when they read it, 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 it their imagination blows it out much more. Their imagination expands on what that scene was in their head. But then when it's animated... It feels lackluster in. And that Slime is not the only series that runs into this problem, might I add. A lot of other Power Showmans run into this kind of problem. But because it's manga, they can generally visualize it a lot better. But a lot of light novels do run into this problem where there's big fight scenes and people go, Oh, this big massive fight scene, it's like massive, it's epic. Because their imagination could go much more wild. And then when it's in an anime, it feels a little bit shorter. That's the thing I think some people need to realize is that from anime to light novel, it's a very different medium. Manga is a little bit more easier to convert into an anime. And even though, yeah, Slime does have a manga, it's just one of those where I feel like a lot of the people that were guessing up were probably, probably light novel fans. So I'm very excited for season four. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What were your thoughts about the early stages and the late stages? And that's the thing. I want to separate the review from what people say. Because if you just say, what was season three like? A lot of people will just remember the ending and go, yeah, it was great. And it's like, yeah, but what was the early stages like for you? Because I saw a lot of comments that agreed with me. And some that didn't agree with me were more just de being overly defensive. And that's the issue. Is that the people that were defending it didn't really say what they liked about it. They were just like, oh, but it's important. It's like... You can present important stuff in a better manner. It's the presentation that's important. And I don't think just sitting there listening, watching Mao's move is the best presentation. You can do a little bit more than that. I'm sure they've got the budget. They make enough merchandise. I've seen what merchandise they have out there. And the mobile game. And the movies. And the mangas. And the light novels. And the collaborations. I'm sure they've got the budget to put a little bit more in it. So... Again, love to know what your thoughts are, what the early stages are, what the late stages are. What was your thoughts of the first movie, and are you excited for the second movie? So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.